Like, you can't even go outside anymore with a stuffy nose without somebody thinking that you have COVID, right? So, it's almost even uncomfortable to blow your nose in public. Like, you can even say to everyone around you, oh, I have allergies, but are they going to believe you? Probably not. The sun we've had over the past few days is causing a big snow melt, and that can be a big trigger for people's allergies. Allergy symptoms like runny, stuffy noses look similar to COVID-19 <laughs> symptoms. It can be very difficult to tell the two apart from each other. Some people with allergies triggered in the season are finding it can be difficult to manage their symptoms, making it uncomfortable for them to go into public. But it's also caused me to miss work a couple of times. Because if you have one primary or secondary symptom of COVID, they immediately send you home for 10 days. There are many different types of allergies, but a couple common allergies for this time of year is to pollen and snow mold. When the snow melts, it releases a mold into the air. A local pharmacist says there are ways to distinguish between the two. Well, of course, there's always, you can always get the COVID test, right? And of course, if you want to um, try some drugs, drugs are good. Um, you know, and they and they help. Then you know. Sometimes though, you got to think about drugs. Always are going to help sometimes with cold symptoms as well. So you know whether they're going to help with your. Um, I, I think they'd be more helpful for your allergies though. With COVID, you'll have a dry cough, but when it comes to allergies, sneezing is a very common symptom that you won't see with COVID. One way to prevent allergies is by getting a skin test. That way, you know exactly what you're allergic to. Another way to help prevent allergies is by wearing your mask. That way pollen can't enter your respiratory system. For St. Newsfile, I'm Amy Ramsey.